Cleveland is one of the four or five most important collections of Asian art. Our most important um, parts of the collection are Chinese paintings, as you have mentioned, um, ceramics, uh, textiles and Buddhist sculpture. Way impressed me from the first time I've seen her work. 2016, I suggested to bring the display, the installation, to uh, Cleveland the first time. But I think now is the right and uh, best moment to have it on display here. In the time of the pandemic, it really emphasizes the important role of music and the arts. Perhaps a silver lining of this was a reminder for all of us how important. It's really a homage to the power of music and what music does for the human soul. And I think it, it's portrayed in a, in a subtle uh, but very, very powerful way. Always art. It's very subtle and delicate. It um, references tradition, but at the same time, Huawei undermines tradition in many, many ways. I mean, everything she does is very creative, very experimental, has a very subtle way of subverting. If you look at her landscape paintings, if you can see she introduced the female figure into landscape painting. Now the tradition is the female figure is a marginal figure. Here she takes over the is the protagonist. And the smaller figure, if it is depicted at all, becomes a marginal figure. In the center of the composition, a woman playing the chi uh, and is inspired by the rushing water. And I have only yesterday uh, discovered that on the top of the mountain you find a scholar turned away, really falling off the cliff. She marginalizes the male figure and puts the female figure at center stage. In Cleveland, she looked at our collection. This is inspired by our famous hand scroll painting, which is painted by Miyo Ren in the Song Dynasty. Large stretch hands from this river scale, uh, but of course, her painting is has a different format, um, is juxtaposed with a personal letter by Shostakovich, and it, she uses a different color scheme, which is blue and green, very powerful, beautiful, deep uh, colors, but she takes up the canvas.其实它有一个缘起这个宴的意思也有有人之间的书信其他象征亲友然后呢又象征自己的心境就是流浪迁徙提前阅读到大量的西方音乐家的通信
，哎，我要做一组音乐家的通信，因为那时候觉得其实。水墨画特别强调笔墨，这但这笔墨的东西非常有情绪性。其实作为艺术来说，我觉得绘画不是表达情绪的最好的一种方式，可能音乐才是最好的方式。那时候就觉得，可能有一天会把音乐跟绘画就是放在一起。但是，一旦你关注信件的时候，你就发现。他们也是普通的人，音乐家好像有时候比艺术家还要情绪化。我觉得天才都是有点分裂性的，就是你，你听他的音乐的时候，你觉得他是崇高的或者怎么的，但是最后你发现他多为人、多识为人的时候，他跟普通人非常像。我从来没有想过把东方和西方分开过。对我来说，绘画是一种翻译，呈现也是一种翻译。我在画画的时候，我已经想到，也许他们会排列成像大雁飞行的阵型。嗯，也想到了舞台、乐谱架。Art. It's a very, very subtle art of speaking to you. You have to take time. You have to look closely. An enormous sensitivity for aesthetics and for choosing material. She has a very subtle way of bringing、uh, life to these landscape sceneries. If you look in the light, you will see the paper is sparkling and glittering. There is a mica on the surface which glimmers. She has not turned the edges, and the paper has very long fiber and I think coarse. This obviously helps、uh, the way the technique in which she is、uh, creating and painting these these landscapes. You have to take time to realize and notice. All these twists she has in presenting seemingly traditional works of art.